Hey everybody, welcome back to Mid Rock Crisis. Show that's trying to save rock one band at a time. And today we're going to talk about Nitrolog. Now I'm hoping I pronounced that correctly. It's a band I didn't know about until I heard about them on Pete Pardo's Sea of Tranquility show. And I am so glad I did because this band may be amongst the best music I've ever heard in my life. Nidralog was formed in Woodford, London in 1969. Colin and Stuart Goldring, the name of the band is roughly Goldring backwards. Drummer Nigel Pegram from Spice, which would become Uriah Heep. Peter Mars, Cowling on bass. John Earl joined the, to play the sax and the flute, but not until the second album. They released two albums in 1972. The first was called In Spite of Harry's Toenail, and the second, Lady Lake. The band opened for Wishbone Ash, Gentle Giant, King Crimson, and David Bowie, but never achieved mass acceptance on the Prague fan base. You know, it's just sick that this band didn't go beyond cult status. And I've had difficulty finding any dependable live footage of their acts as well. So I'm just playing this album. This is their third album. and I think it's their best. So the Enids were actually overlooked. The nature of progressive rock is that even top bands like Gentle Giant struggled to find a wide audience, and that the Nids defy any amount of categorization of bluesy prog with horns and forceful, intense vocals. Even in another decade, they could have fit in with the heavy metal circuit, but in the early 70s, their competition was Gentle Giant and Jethro Tull and Fairport Convention. They signed a contract with RCA without perks such as a promotion budget. The band was in the game for the love of music and felt their presentation was strong enough to last more than two years. That's all they really had at first. They split up due to dramatic clashes with the band within the band, the same old adage about ego, Peter Cowling managed to oust both Stu Goldring and Nigel Pegram, the result being that Colin Goldring refused to write new compositions for the new lineup, and that meant curtains. Now, Nigel Pegram had success with Steel Eye Span. Colin and Stu figured to latch on to the new punk scene and formed the Pork Dukes. Members of Yes or Genesis cannot wake up one day and turn into the Sex Pistols. It's not how it works. 27 years later, there was an internet drive for Ganidrolin to re reunite for another album, their third, and in 1999 they released Gnosis. The album was ignored by everyone except their most ardent fans. The reunion lasted for about a year. Brass and Woodwinds artist John Earl went on to play in several bands, including Thin Lizzy, Ian Jury and the Blockheads, and The Clash. In spite of Harry's toenail, it's a distonal, unheard keys mixed. It's hard to keep a good man down, and it's good to keep a hard man down. The comparison to Tull is from the flute. Long live man, dead. Peter, snails, time and space. Who spoke? Then Lady Lake. I could never be a soldier. I only see the daylight. Pacifism, pilgrimage, ship, Tchaikovsky's Swan Lake, a dog with no collar, Social embarrassment are the themes. And this album, Gnosis, gets a wow from East Coast Peak. 
Moody, Mid-Eastern, Elizabethan, Prague, Didgeridoos, Reach for Tomorrow, Reverend Katz, Astonishing, Mbira, Fall to Ground, M.O.R. kind of, Wulunga, Bouncy, with a didgeridoo. Wonder, wonder, meeting someone. It's like wonderful to meet someone, I think. Deventer, this is Penny Whistle Prague. Bells of Prozac, flute and timpani. It's a fairly happy number. And the kings of rock are dead. Mid-Rock Crisis theme theme song for East Coast Beat. Gnosis, Z guitar, high rock, hard rock, crazy, crazy, funny, quirky. Going to France like General Giants two weeks in Spain. The City Sleeps is a pure rock anthem. Two Helens, classical guitar piece. Repent Harlequin is dark and ominous. And God, I love this album. It is everywhere. Live in 1972, released before Gnosis was released in 99. I wonder what they did in between time. Here's the songs, one intro. Any use in living, you're not Captain Beefheart, you know. And you're not Frank Zappa and you're not Ian Anderson, and you're not Weather Report. Two, I could never be a soldier. Three, time and space. Four, meanwhile, back at the office, the continuity story of Peter. <laughs> Five, my mother. Six, in spite of Harry's toenail. Looks like Harry's toenail has quite an impact on these guys. Maybe he's got fungus or something, I don't know. You know, I, I, I should sit back and just let you guys listen to this album, but you're gonna hear it a whole lot better if you put on the headphones, turn up the volume, and just enjoy. Thanks for being with me on, East, on, on my show, mid Rock Crisis. I'm East Coast Pete, they're Grenadrilog. They might be my favorite band. <laughs> See you next time. Bye-bye.